Hello, and welcome to another episode of 5-Minute Film School. Now, today's episode will be a bit different than most of the episodes that we've had so far, because we're going to be discussing a subject that's a bit different, unique, and fun. So go ahead and grab some pens, grab some paper, and some antidepressants, and let's get started. Now, pre-production is probably one of the most overlooked steps in making a film. People just don't do it. And when you don't do it, it either leaves your film unfinished, or it leaves your audience thinking, what the fuck was that? <coughs> now, for those of you that don't know what pre-production is, think about it like this. Pre-production is the thought behind the film. Would you really make a film without thinking about what you're going to shoot first? I don't think so, because it probably wouldn't turn out that well. Let's take a look at an example of a thoughtless film. There was no time. Don't you understand, Mr. Cactus? You're going to die! There was no money. <laughs> there was no future. Loganberry. He had no plot structure at all. I loved you. And I ask nothing in return. And you can't even look me in the face. This summer, Dan Schreiner is. What you looking for? Nothing. The man without a plan. I'm sorry, that was kind of terrifying. But really, what I was trying to say through that film was that pre-production is hard, but necessary. And if you want to make a good film, you need to do it too. So what I'm going to do today is run through a few steps to make sure that pre-production on your story is good. And then we'll move on to pre-production in the other phases. Because pre-production is long. It takes a lot of time, it's arduous, and it's tedious. But it's totally necessary. So let's get started. Now, there's a lot to talk about in pre-production. And so I'm not going to be able to fit it all into one episode. So what I'm going to do is separate out pre-production into three separate parts. The first part pre-production being writing, the second part being development, and the third part being motion animating, or storyboards basically. And so what I'm going to do now is just the first part, which would be writing pre-production. And so when you're going to choose a genre when you're doing writing pre-production, you have to choose a genre of what film you're going to type, what film you're going to make. Um, so, what you need to do is kind of look at all the different genres. You've got horror, action, comedy, western, drama, science fiction. There's hybrid genres, which are two genres mixed together. There's a whole other category of genres. I mean, it's really up to you. But I'd say if you stick with one of the original ones, like horror, comedy, and action stuff, and you're having a hard time choosing from one of the originals, uh, I'd say go. Just go with the one that you feel the most comfortable with, the feel the one that you feel that you'll enjoy the most. And that's the one that's going to be the best for you. So go with that one. And that's the first step of pre-production um, in writing is choosing that genre. Okay, so the second step to writing pre-production is developing your genre. You want to, uh, what you're going to want to do 
is go to like a library basically or, or just go out and get a library card or go online, you know, whatever your source is, but find literary works of authors in that genre. Try and find the best and read up as much as you can about that genre. What I want you to do is, you know, find find the formulas in that genre. Find read so much about it that it kind of becomes repetitive after a while. You start seeing the patterns in the writing stories and start finding those. And I want you to become a master through what you read. Just find those master works. And then after you've became a master of, uh, of whatever genre you've chosen, what I want you to do is look at that formula and write it out and uh, take a look at you know that main formula that they use for horror. There's like tons of formulas in horror about having longer cuts and stuff to draw the audience in in horror films and in writing there's foreshadowing and all this other sort of stuff too um, that helps out the plot. So I want you to kind of figure out what that is in your genre and then after you know what it is for sure I want you to exploit it basically. What I want you to do is take that structure and destroy it because that's the foundation of your genre and if you want to become great as a filmmaker you have to not only just make films you have to become a leader for your your media basically you have to be um, a, a leader in the industry and so to be a leader you have to be a creator you have to do something new and that's the only way you're gonna do something new is if you break that mold if you break that formula and then what you can also do is you can sort of improvise and take little bits and pieces of uh, the styles of certain authors and integrate them into your own People are always talking about how great Tarantino is as a, a filmmaker, but a lot of people don't notice that he takes a lot of other people's ideas and he just modifies them to become his own. Um, there's a definition of genius. I don't know what the quote is. I'll probably put it on the beginning of the episode now. But uh, it just talks about how genius is really just taking something old, rearranging it, and submitting it as if it was new. So it's plagiarism, basically. But um, there's another sort of less than plagiarism and uh, when you do that it's it's great because you're taking something old and recycling it and uh, not just recycling it so it's mundane but I mean taking it and looking at it at a whole new level hence the hybrid uh, which you might have a question about earlier hybrid uh, genre is when you take uh, like a, a western and a sci-fi and you bash them together that's uh, that's the hybrid, and so you can do that too if you want. It's just a little bit harder to find authors that write in hybrid genres, um, especially predominant ones. So good luck with that, and uh, what I want you to do, what I want to see in these next couple of weeks from you guys, uh, whoever's watching and actually following along and filming, um, putting stuff together, is I want to see you know different sorts of formulas. I want to see people breaking the mold a bit. I want to see science fiction that's more science than fiction. I want to see horrors that are, not horrors, horrors, that um, sort of draw out this sort of long, mm, evil scare instead of these little jumps with the, the knife. <laughs> That's lame. So what you need to do is uh, basically go out and start reading. Set aside a month. Come back. Even if I already have new episodes, I don't want you to go on from this point forward until you know what your genre is and you feel that you've mastered it enough because now we're going to start developing that out even more. So good luck. If you have any questions, just write me. And you have a good day. Bitches. See you next week.